Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hey guys, welcome back. All right. So, let's get into your stream. Do you like my new glow-in-the-dark nails? I have little spider webs and ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a look and see what messages are here for you from the time you're listening to this reading through November uh, 18th, through the, the middle of November. Okay, let's see what's coming up here for you. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Uh, the Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. <laughs> Come on. Seriously? Island time. Healing heart. Okay. Well, at least that's good. Healing from a self-absorbed, selfish... Whatever. Oh, and going on a date. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Look, you're healing from some kind of... Look, go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel because I was talking about this person um, yesterday. Yeah, so you're healing from a heartbreak. Healing from a toxic relationship or an addiction. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, Self-absorbed, egotistical, one-sided relationship, the love bomber. Okay. And now here comes the date. Meeting someone new. Dating, getting back out there. Planning and setting a date. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, that's good news. No sense in going into the past, right? You're done with that. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to give this a little bit of an extra shuffle de duffle and see. Tell us, spirit, tell Virgo about this new date person coming in. Virgo wants to hear about the new love. Virgo, we're always talking about that narc, okay? Tell Virgo about this new person coming in. Who is this person? What's the dealio? Are they grody to the max? Or is it gonna be the one? Do you like my Joe Biden whisper? I got news for you. It's gonna be great. <laughs> That's my lean into the microphone. Joe Biden, your ass. All right, let's see. What's the message, spirit? What's the message for the Virgos? Tell Virgo all about this new date that they're going to be waiting for that MFR to call. Hello? Hello, McFly? What's going on? Hey, why is my camera being so... What happened? What's happening? What? What's happening? All right. Can you see my pink thing? Okay. There we go. Sorry. Yeah. Three of Wands. Okay. I'm waiting. Um, I've been waiting for a girl like you come into my life all right let's see let, let me get a little more information here what's going on oh okay well the king of swords just popped up but he's going back in the deck just for a sec okay if he pops back up again then there might be a story to tell but let's let's just let's just keep it moving okay let's go oh okay well the king of cups is here okay what's going on Okay. Oh, night and day. Day and night. Okay. I can just hear this chat. I can just hear the chat. I can't please any of you. Oh, that king of swords. Don't tell me it's a Gemini. 
I can't stand the... Di oh, don't tell me it's a Pisces. Oh, no, not that Scorpio. I can't deal with it. Oh, they're just whiny. Are the Scorpios is liars, and the Pisces are whiny, and I can't deal with the Cancer. They're too moody, and don't tell me it's a Gemini. They're cold as bricks. Oh, I've already been there. No, listen, 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 it, listen, stop. You cannot make new people pay for what your past people have done to you. Everybody's got different placements. You can't do that. Just because you dated a Pisces and they were a particular way, it doesn't mean another Pisces is going to be that way. You you, you got to find out what their placements are. You got to do a birth chart on them. You got to get you got to get a lot of information. It's not fair to just shun somebody just because of their sign. You might meet somebody who was with a Virgo for years, and that Virgo was nasty to them, and that person meets you. And you're like, oh, I'm Virgo. And you're like, you're the, there are Virgos out there who are so, they're like sweet as apple pie. And this person's like, I don't want nothing to do with you. You're a Virgo. Nope. And like, you'd be so offended because that's not fair because you're not like the other person, right? And I'm just, listen, I just have to say that. That's how I feel. I meet plenty of people who are, I have exes of certain signs. And then I meet new people of those same signs. And I, I don't write them off. I just keep it in the back of my head. But, you, you know, you just can't, you just can't do that. That's not fair. That's just, like, say, stop it. Stop. <laughs> All right. Can we get on with the reading now? Because I've had to have my say. Okay. So, you got a King of Cups showing up here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They might have, they're, they're a sign. They could have Leo in their chart somewhere. They could have Pisces in their, you know, double Pisces energy. Um... And this person's been waiting to meet you, okay? They've been waiting their whole life for you. They've been waiting to meet you, okay? Um, they've been on their own, pretty much, doing their own thing, waiting for someone just like you. And they have a pretty positive, upbeat attitude, you know? They're just pretty much like, you know, positive vibes. They have good vibes, you know? They're, they're just kind of like, they have a good disposition. That's what I see here. This person has a good disposition. Um, they know a lot of stuff. They're pretty wise. They have a lot of wisdom, definitely. And this, this, the King of Cups generally comes in the form of like, they have an emotional high IQ when in the upright. You know, they're wise. They're, they can be a professor, a good teacher. They're pretty, um, they're pretty darn smart. Yeah, definitely. Um... I do feel like, which I don't really feel is common for a King of Cups, but I do feel like this King of Cups is a little bit, um, they could be psychic, I will say that, but I feel like they're a little bit selective um, with who they, I'm not sure, it could have something to do with their placement. They're definitely a little secretive, but not like secretive in the sense where they fib or they tell lies they just have they have inner wisdom and inner knowledge they they don't often share with people because people might think they're crazy or that the things that they intuit are the things that they know and that could coincide a little bit with some kind of psychic energy right you get that right they know things you know so they kind of keep that wisdom and that knowledge to themselves and but they will share it if if you know people ask they will open up about it but they don't go around and like grandstand they're not a grandstanding type of a person okay hmm now for some of you you may have known this person in your childhood um this could be someone from your past um or someone that you knew from before um let's see they also may have children as well and or may want children if you are of childbearing age, okay? They may have grandchildren too. Um, let's see. Well, if you're a guy, I guess you're always of childbearing age, right? I mean, how many kids does Robert De Niro have and at his age? Isn't he in like his 70s or 80s? <laughs> like, 
What? I don't know. I just can't even believe that. There are some... Oh, there's some men that just... They just keep going. <laughs> they don't. They just keep going. I guess when you have all that money... <laughs> hey. To each his own. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So, yeah. Um, this person will bring you flowers if you like flowers. Um, and yes, for the men too. This person will bring you flowers. They like to bring joy. Um, so if you are like a guy who, you know, uh, I would just do rather, I don't know what you prefer. I don't, I can't, I can't be, <laughs> in other words, they will, they'll come over to your house and they'll put like flowers on your table because they want your place to look nice. You know, they bring the certain kind of a touch, you know, they, it's just how they are. It, it's just... I just get that vibe from this this person. I just pick up happy, happy, joy, joy is kind of how they are, you know. But they're not like they're. I guess that the word is a little whimsical, little uh, kind of whimsical, kind of childlike in some ways. Not childish, but childlike. Okay, so that's what I feel. There's nothing here about money. I don't feel like this person is wealthy. I don't feel like this person is business minded. Um, they could be, but I feel like all that stuff is kind of secondary to them. What's first and foremost to them is happiness, knowledge, psychic abilities, um, peace, joy, happiness, can we all just get along kind of stuff. Yeah, enjoyment of family and friends and children, babies, all that stuff, you know, and um, deep wisdom and understanding on, in a more esoteric kind of a way, you know, um, and thinking about the future and making plans. I really feel like that's at the forefront of who they are as a person and learning, you know, um, I'm not saying that they don't have a nice vehicle or that they don't or that they don't live in a nice place. They might. Um, but I don't feel like their main goal is um, they're not materialistic and I don't feel like their main goal is to be like they have to have all of the best clothes and all the most expensive things. Um, but I feel like they're clean. <laughs> I feel like they shower. So that's good. <laughs> I don't feel like they're like a hippie that lives in the woods and they have cockroaches in their beard or, you know, hair in their armpits or it's a woman. Like, I just, not that there's anything wrong with that, okay? But I'm just saying, I, I just feel like they're, yeah, like they're not, um, they don't, they don't walk, they don't walk barefoot in the snow. There's not that energy. Um, they've been broke, I will tell you that. Um... <laughs> They know how to live out in the wild, that's for sure. Um, but it's a good match. And I definitely see something um, pretty amazing happening here with this person, for sure. Yes. There's an intuitive connection between you and this person. And I see something, yep, there you go, a love offer being made to you. Like a proposal of some sort. You know, a romantic offer, genuine love offer. Definitely, I see you two meeting, and you know, it's nice. It's not. It's it's just sweet. <coughs> it just <coughs> gag me with a spoon, please. <coughs> it just feels sweet. Aw, Namcano. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I mean, for you, I think it's great. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't see any kind of narcissist bone in this person's body. I'm not picking up any kind of selfish, egotistical, golden mirror, all about me. Um, I see just very even conversation flows nicely back and forth. Um... I see this person like it's just very like I don't know like conversation flows very nicely this person comes from like um they're saying 
like an emotional place you know what I mean like they speak from the heart you could just tell like you can just tell when someone with the water signs you can just tell when they speak from their heart I don't know how to describe it if you're not a water sign you probably can recognize that if you are a water sign then you wouldn't you, if you're not a water sign you would be able to tell when someone's speaking from their heart because non-water signs they don't do that if you are a water sign you'd be like what are you talking about <laughs> you have to not be one to understand that but there's just this gentility and compassion and care that comes from them when they talk to people it's quite fascinating honestly like for virgos 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 i mean virgos have that but it's it's mostly in the way of like what can i do for you you know with virgos like how can i be of service virgos are like where are the band-aids <laughs> more so but with water signs it's more like how are you feeling today you know, it's like, what? You know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm giving another lesson. Okay, so let's move on. Let me take, I want to look at you. Like, how are you going to respond to this, meeting this person? Because it looks like you've pretty much bandaged yourself up here and healed up from some kind of, at least by the time, you know what? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. Like, this person was divinely prepared for you. But I'm going to tell you, meeting this person is going to fast track your healing for sure. Definitely because of their watery healing energy. Definitely. They come in very sincere and kind and loving. Like, like very childlike. Like very innocent. Um, you're, you're healing. Like you don't just go from being in like a narcissistic kind of relationship. That's abusive. You don't go from that to just healing overnight. That can take a long time if you're doing it on your own. But the one thing that does heal you from that is another person's love. True love. Because love heals hate. <laughs> you know, the light drives out the darkness. And the light is love. And connecting with this person, their love is going to just speed up that healing because that's what love does and i feel like with temperance here everything comes into harmony balance here like this is gonna put you like you remember that old those old commercials the v8 commercial where those people would be walking sideways and they'll like, like hit themselves in the head and be like oh i should have had a v8 because it gave you all your minerals and your vitamins <laughs> put you put you right back straight up like you've been walking sideways <laughs> for a long time and this person is like your tomato juice <laughs> they're like your tomato juice coming in <laughs> look they're like here you want a glass of tomato juice so you can walk straight up you weirdo yeah, so it, it feels nice. It's nice. They're like a bartender. They're like a bartender. I'm going to slip a little vodka, not tomato juice for you. Give you a little Bloody Mary. Yep. I think I'll be, I'll be a Bloody Mary for Halloween. That's a good idea. Yeah. I was trying to think of a costume for Halloween. I like to create my own costumes. I don't like to mimic... I like to like create my own costumes. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. So yeah, there, there's definitely, this is definitely going, it is coming to be something that has, it's just coming to be because it's meant to be. It's not you really looking and seeking and searching and any of that. It's just somebody coming into your life. Um, out of nowhere, pretty much. Let me see. Yeah. You won't even know. Like, you're not even looking. Your eyes are covered. You're blindfolded. So you won't even... This is you not looking. They're just going to poof the magic dragon. Come right out of the sky. 
just show up one day. And I often am like, what do I always say? I always say that your person isn't just going to land on your doorstep. You kind of have to put yourself out there. The person that just lands on your doorstep is generally the exception to the rule, right? When that happens. But the exception to the rule doesn't mean it doesn't happen. So, um, <laughs> this very well could be the exception to the rule happening. And you just happen to be watching this reading right now, right? And like I said, some of you, some of you may already know who this is and you already have your exception to the rule that for whatever reason hasn't happened. Maybe there's some kind of, oh, shh. I was just going to say, maybe there was some kind of change that had to take place in order for that to happen. All these cards just fell out. I can't. I'm putting this deck down. This wounded warrior energy, a blessing came in, a gift from up above. This is healing. Have you been praying for someone, Virgo? Maybe. For some of you, you might have been praying someone, asking God spirit universe to lay a blessing on someone that's been heavily damaged because you know they do work miracles talking to the angels asking to help them they've been struggling what's that old saying Beggars can't be choosers. This person is humbled, has become humbled. This person has been has become humbled through their battle scars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Massive change has happened. Every time I look at her, I'm like, you're such a sleaze. Where's your pants? Where's your pants? <laughs> I gotta put some clothes on this chick massive shift new chapter new start here's the lovers all my people are like i don't know strip club people or something i don't know what's going on i gotta like fix this <laughs> i'm trying to have a real spiritual reading and i got like new strip club dancers on my tarot cards what do you want what are you gonna do yeah the lovers i, I don't know this reading is kind of deep for some of you, this is, like I said, somebody you already know. For others, this is somebody new coming in. And, you know, you, especially for you, um, you've had your struggle. You've been praying for a blessing to come down onto you, to humble you as well, to bring change into your life, to have love to come into your door. You've been asking for that blessing, and it's coming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And this is definitely going to be an exception to the rule. This, whether it's this change or whether it's just somebody just showing up out of the blue, definitely happening here for you. Okay, let me just get a couple more messages here for you and see what else you need to know. What else does Virgo need to know? You've got Cupid's arrows, love messages coming in, and you've got travel coming up for you during this time period for some of you it's a past situation returning a deeply loving male or a female who is coming in with a message they are admiring you um okay and some of you are uh, as always and i keep saying this please leave a comment when this happens you're getting some good news about money so that's always a plus and you just keep on scratching off those tickets scratching off those tickets okay let's see anything else i think that's it for that you guys i just feel like I don't like to, you know, blow smoke, you know. I try to just keep things real on my channel when it comes to these types of readings. And look, I was just going through my cards, and here's Temperance again. 
I just feel like, again, divine timing. It really is an exception to the rule situation happening here. It really is. I feel that. And I feel like you need to know that. Just this one time. It's, it's why I don't do twin flame readings all the time. Because I just feel like... It's like the word love, you know. People equate the word love, like... They just, it gets used too much. Like, love is such a special word, you know? I mean, people be like, I love French fries, and then turn around and be like, I love my kids. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I feel like it shouldn't be used that way. <laughs> I just don't. I feel like I love my children should be, love should just be for that, you know? Or I love my person. And then French fries should just be like, I really like french fries a lot. You know what I mean? Like, does anybody, like, is it just me? I just feel like love is such a powerful word. And I don't think, like, loving french fries. I don't feel like you should use love for french fries. That's just how I feel about that. <laughs> and I just feel like the same thing with the twin flame. Like, everybody meets somebody and they fall in love with them and they think it's their twin flame. Like, no. No, it's not. <laughs> we have a lot more soulmates. Twin flame is a rarity, you know? So I feel like we should keep, I feel like we should just try to keep something sacred in life, you know? Something special, some private, sacred. It's not for every, it's not for every single thing, right? Okay, so let's, let's get on with it. So you've got you're the tiger. So this is going to be either you or this person or both of you, or none. Take it with a grain of salt. All right, and just give these a little shuffle here. And year of the snake, year of the ox. And we got a snake again, that's double. Year of the dog, year of the monkey, year of the rabbit, year of the horse. We have a dog again. And year of the rat. Okay. Fantastical. Goody, goody. Okay. Let's get some initials and see what pops up for you guys. Or as Ralph likes to say, Scrabble's fine. Oh, I pulled a lot. Okay. All right, so we're starting with Sagittarius. We have Aquarius and Cancer and September 10th. All right, somebody has a birthday in February. Someone has a birthday in October. So that could be the person that, you know, your person. Okay. I just heard the word Nan. Nancy? Or Nan. Okay, whoa, lights out. Sorry, you guys. Um, okay, 1973, 1968, 1962. These could also be ages. Keep that in mind. Okay, 1990. And hey, if somebody here is age 90, let's all give a shout out. If you're 90 and listening to my readings, you're amazing. Okay, somebody's 28, someone is 35, someone is 56, or born in 56. Okay, someone is 47. All right, September 8th, September 2nd, September 18th. Okay, do we have any Augusts? All right, I just saw August 23rd. I feel like that came up yesterday. And, oh, we have September 19th, September 22nd, twice, three times, that's two, 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 and two, two. I just ran again. All right, September 21st. Okay, sorry, August birthdays. 
Doesn't mean you're not important. Okay, the name Ian is here. Kai, K-A-I. Um, somebody calls somebody a twerp. A twerp. <laughs> here, twerp. We have Peter, Petra. Peter, Petra. Pewter. Pewter. Does somebody collect things that are made of pewter? Pewter. Oh, I just heard somebody's kitty meowing. Okay. Tina. Um, Pinta? Pinta. Like the... Pinta Maria? Pinta? Pinta? Punta? Punta Cana? Somebody going to Punta Cana? Okay. Okay. That's all right. Oh. Paw. Paw. Kitty cat paw. Puppy paws. Tio. Tio. Okay. Um, paint. Somebody is painting. Or painted. Somebody did something. Maybe you're painting your toes. Somebody has some pain in the toe. Or some pain. Okay. Just interesting. That's an interesting message. Okay. Carrie. And the name Carrie. Ken or Kent. Okay. Somebody needs to pay their rent. That would not be me. Um, okay. Rag. Rag doll or rag. Regis. Krieger. Greg or great. You're great. Vera Gira. Trent, Tira, okay, Gert, okay, uh, Ray, R-A-E, Ray, okay, Kitty, or Cat, Nitro, I just heard, Katrina, Catherine, Katherine, Hmm, tiger, tiger mom, tiger river, acre, someone lives on an acre of land or an acreage, an anchorage, Alaska, a regress, regress, they just said a regress, um, tag, someone's playing tag, tagamet, tag, Target, Target, somebody's at Target. Are you listening to my reading and you're shopping at Target? You know what, I do that. I go to Target, or Kohl's or Macy's or wherever, and I keep my headphones in and I'll listen to YouTube. I'll just walk around, and that way I don't have to talk to anybody. God forbid if there's a fire or something's going on, I'm not gonna hear anything because I'm in the middle of a documentary or I'm listening to the news. <laughs> don't worry, I'm all right. I won't, if I burn up, I won't know because I won't feel a thing. Because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Pay attention, lady. Okay. Um, I feel like I just... I have Aquarius here. Again, I just saw. And I just... Twice. And I just want to roll these again. Okay. So, Sag uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. Is showing up here again. These might be the signs of the person you're connecting with. Or that's this reading for and capricorn pisces aries virgo one more and i just moved my camera and leo cancer taurus okay and let's get your charm and then i'll get you guys i'll give you the boot oh got a whole bunch you guys i saw these amazing christmas tarot cards and i'm tempted to buy them they're like 80 bucks. Should I get them? They have Santa Claus. The hermit is like Santa Claus. He's like in a red robe with snow. And they have like 
Santa Claus and candy canes and Christmas gifts. Should I get them for, for the holidays? Because I have a nightmare. What's it called? Nightmare Before Christmas deck. But I kind of wanted to change it up. Should I get them? If anybody wants to donate to, uh, to me getting um, that Christmas deck, I'm going to make a link. Um, on my link tree to donate to um, purchase to get the deck if you guys want to donate like a dollar that's fine I can use that deck for Christmas that would be so amazing it is so beautiful and I'll link it's on Etsy I'll link a picture and everything um, to the deck if you guys want to see it it's so cool I found it last night and I was like oh I don't know do I want to do it I don't know because I know like I don't want like I, I worry about like offending people because I know there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who don't celebrate Christmas, but that's okay. You don't have to be a Christian and celebrate Christmas, obviously. But um, yeah, I'll put it up, and then you guys, if anybody wants to donate and really like the, I, I think you'll like it. I think it's really cool. All right, so let me take a look. Oh, oh, okay. I love this. This is so cute. <laughs> All right. So the one I chose, and I'm only going to do one because I just kind of feel like we do so many. We do so many, but I feel like this is, I've actually been seeing this and it's funny that it appeared. We've got a strawberry. Okay. Can you see it? Let me try putting it on the black and see if that's better. Okay. Oh, it's not that much better. Anyway, we've got a red strawberry. So somebody might have strawberry, strawberry blonde hair or is thinking about um, making their hair a little red for the fall um, or just for the season or just changing their hair color. It could be eating strawberries. Um, it might be your favorite food or your favorite flavor or scent. Um, you know, strawberry season here up in the northern hemisphere is pretty much over. Um, but strawberry seems to be significant for somebody, okay? I mean, strawberries are good, I think, any time of year, right? If you, even for flavors. Um, strawberry bubble gum is good. Strawberry, I don't know. What is your favorite strawberry treat? Um, strawberry jelly beans? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a strawberry is significant for someone here. Um, some of you might even be allergic to strawberries. So if you are, take uh, notice of what you're eating if you're allergic to strawberries. Or maybe it's just that this message is for you if you're allergic to strawberries. All right, you guys. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's significant for someone. And hey, I just want to give a shout out um, to the Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> I just have to. I, I hope I don't jinx them by doing that. But I'm super, super excited. And, and kudos to all the other teams that are also, I don't know, I don't follow any other teams, but to all the other teams that are playing that are doing well. Congratulations. But, you know, girls got to give a shout out to our favorite team. So, yeah, um, they won't hear this, but that's okay. I'm sending them all of my best of luck wishes to them. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys, obviously, back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I was thinking about the live stream, the four-hour live stream, and I'm just kind of like thinking, I don't know if I could talk for four hours. That's the only downside to the whole thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Love you. Have a great night. Thank you to the mods for moderating. Awesome job. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.